Welcome to the RSA cipher explained by me, Kenwin Lam. So what does RSA stand for? It stands for Rivis, Shamir and Adleman, which are the authors of the cipher. It is a type of public key cryptography which was first made public in the year 1978. And this is still the best known and one of the most widely used public key algorithms. So let's get right to it. Before the encryption process, we need to find the keys, which includes public key and the private key. A typical key usually uses a large prime number of 1024 bits, which is about 300 digits long. The time it takes to factorize these numbers creates a level of security of this algorithm, and it would literally take millions of years to crack. Or well, to create the key, first choose two random prime numbers of a similar range and we'll call them P and Q. We're going to use tiny numbers for simplicity. Let's say 47 and 59. Multiply them together and we get N, one of the public keys. We're going to be encrypting messages with the standard English alphabet and block sizes of two. If you want to use larger blocks or a larger dictionary of characters, larger prime numbers will be needed. Anyways, to find P of N, we follow the top equation and substitute P and Q in, which will look something like this. Do the equation and we get 2668. Now we need to find a number E, which could be any number such as E and phi of N is congruent to 1, and it must be between 1 and phi of N. And it just so happens that I chose 17 as E. Euclid's algorithm can also easily help you determine the value of E. Now using Euclid's algorithm again, we need to find the secret key D, so that ED equals to 1 modular phi of N, and we get 157 for D. If you haven't already learned about Euclid's algorithm, click on the link on the description below. Now that we have our public keys E and N, and our private key D, we're all ready to encrypt. The alphabet we're going to use is the standard capitalized English alphabet and for space we're going to use a little b. We must split the plain text into separate blocks. This equation is to encrypt block sizes of 2. This is for block size 3, block size 4, etc, etc, etc. To keep things simple, the size of the blocks we're going to encrypt is going to be 2 and the word to encrypt is yes. Since we're going to do this in pairs, we split the text up into the relative block size and fill up the odd space. Now match each character up to the relative number and use the following equation to encrypt. So we substitute the numbers in S as the first character of the pair and little b as the second letter, work it out and we get a temporary number we call temp. Using the temp we just got, put it to the power E and mod it by N and we finally get our encrypted text. So 512 to the power of 17 mod it by the public key, we get 1278. Now we do it to the previous pair, YE, you get 727 and when you put it all together, we get our encrypted message. And it's them numbers at the bottom you sent to your friend, if you had any. What's been encrypted must be decrypted at some point, unless you just like looking at numbers which mean nothing, in which case you can just stop watching the video. But for those of us who want to learn to decrypt the message, you take the encrypted message or the ciphertext and put it to the power D, mod n, and that makes another temporary number we call temp again. We take the integer part of temp and divide it by the total number of characters in the dictionary to get the first character of the block. To get the second character, you do temp minus the integer part of the first character multiplied by the number of characters in the dictionary. When you put it into practice, 727 is a ciphertext. To the power d157 mod n, you get temp, and temp over the number of characters is 24. That would be your first character. For the second character, you do temp minus first character multiplied by the number of characters, you get 4. When you match the numbers to the dictionary we used, we get 24 as Y and 4 as E. And together we get E. This concludes our brief tutorial on the RSA algorithm. And don't forget to try it out yourself. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Wink face. And once again, thanks for watching.